What's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of Blue Book MKE. Let's level up your business five day challenge and make money with Stephen A. Williams on YouTube. And I know the LinkedIn, uh, 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 what do you call it? LinkedIn viewers or followers or just people who scroll and see stuff are watching. This is some great information, especially, you know, on LinkedIn, one thing that I've noticed, I've, I've started posting more there or here, wherever we are at, uh, is that I noticed that on LinkedIn, a lot, of, a lot of people are like hungry for information. Like, and a lot of this information is on YouTube and on the other platforms, but I think LinkedIn, because it has more of a business, it's a more of a business feel, professional, that uh, some of this stuff maybe hasn't been uh, placed on the platform in the way that it's been placed on and on other platforms, but I think that it is still valuable. And what I'm about to show you is something that I'm doing on YouTube and I'm starting to duplicate it on LinkedIn and it, the, the, it's working the same way. Like I was, uh, I was kind of, uh, I guess I won't say shocked because what I do is I look at certain things, certain numbers, certain details about things that I'm trying and I'm not afraid to test some things. I'm not afraid to put myself out there and, uh, and try things and it can, and, and, it, and it can lead to success. So if you're trying to get more clients, you're trying to, uh, get yourself out there to more people, uh, pay attention to this video. You're going to get some good information. Also, I do, I consider myself lucky because you know, one thing that everybody is trying to do is to go viral. And I was watching that, uh, uh, there was a, a documentary on Netflix about the hatchet guy and our news person here in Milwaukee would, uh, was actually the person who had interviewed and found this individual. Uh, you can check that out on YouTube. It was, I think, I mean, on, uh, on, uh, Netflix, think hatchet hero or something. I don't know. But the thing about it is that he went viral on YouTube, like millions of views. And, uh, a lot of people try to go viral and, and. I went viral. Like, do, do I, I consider myself lucky because one day I was, I, I made a video on something, posted it on YouTube, and the next morning I woke up and this, this is the truth. I, I had a thousand subscribers the day before and the next day I had over 15,000 subscribers. And I didn't know, it, I didn't know nothing about what I was doing with the way I posted the video. I just made the video sitting at my desk. And so what I've done, like I've never been able to duplicate that one success, but I was able to continue uh, with the process on growing my YouTube channel. And I've also been able to do that on Facebook and I'm, now I'm doing it on LinkedIn. But some of the things that I was, like I would go back and I looked at that video and I was like, what did I do? What do I need to pay attention to? because I see so much opportunity with the engagement that you can get with posting content. And so I went back and I looked at what I was doing. And uh, so some of the things that I started really paying close attention to, and I think that you need to pay attention to, and the reason why I paid close attention to it because it was 52,197 reasons to pay close attention to. That's what YouTube had paid me, uh, is that, so I think that this is something that flies over a lot of people's head or they don't pay close enough attention to it is that over that time period, I've gotten 2.2 million views, 211,000 watch time hours. If you divide that up, like say for instance, you were a TV show and you were to divide those numbers up, they would say that you're doing pretty good. And if you learned how to monetize those, you would be doing way better than a lot of other people that are trying to do stuff on uh, these, uh, these certain types of channels are doing. And yes, I was able to monetize the, uh, the individuals. I have over 50,000 subscribers. I just went over 50,000 subscribers. Uh, and, uh, but I've been able to monetize those 50,000 subscribers. So it's not just what I get from YouTube. It's what you're able to do 
with 50,000 individuals who could come in at any time and who felt good enough about your content that they ended up subscribing to your channel. And you can see here how YouTube keeps a count on this. I'm going to get into it in a second about why this is very important if you're trying to build, get you know, get your business off the ground, get your content out there, and you want to see if it's working for your content. Because there is a way. They tell you straight up how to do this, but they don't, they do it in reverse. They give you what they're looking at, and then you have to craft your videos. You have to do some testing to be able to get those videos to do what they want done to be able to have you be able to be seen by more people. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down one of my videos that I made uh, last week. Cause I think this one is a good, good example to use. So on this video, first thing that I want you to pay attention to, if we can get that over here, is you see the thumbnail. So the thumbnail, it doesn't matter if you're posting a video on LinkedIn, it doesn't matter if you post a video on, on Facebook, no, on YouTube. Uh, you gotta pay attention to this right here. It's a little bit, it's different on TikTok. You just gotta get people's attention with what you say out of the gate on TikTok. But on one of the things, if you look at YouTube's page, and if you look at the feed in Facebook, you look at the feed in LinkedIn, what is gonna grab your attention? What is gonna grab your attention? And if it grabs your attention and potentially it could grab other people's attention, and you have to be honest with it. There was some stuff that I used to do that I had to just be honest with myself and say, that stuff doesn't really work. And so what I did is I had my graphic designer go back through all of the ones where I had just had, I just had a black box with white letters. And I was thinking that's gonna get everybody's attention because everybody's using other stuff. Well, I'm here to tell you that people need to be, they wanna be attracted by something that's a nice thumbnail. And when I did the thumbnail changes, I saw my videos rise. So just by changing the thumbnails on videos that I had already made, the views went up. So that, that means that the engagement went up. That means that more people started to learn about me. So now let's break down what this one video has been able to do. So just this one video has gotten 546 views since it was published. It's brought me 7,000 plus seven, I mean, seven subscribe, new subscribers. And something that I did, let me uh, talk about something that I've done on my videos that has made a big difference and I didn't do it on this one, but I've done it on the newer ones and it's made a big difference is that depending on how long the video is, I ask people to subscribe numerous times throughout the video, not by me. I just have a video pop up that say subscribe. And I saw that my numbers started to go up with su subscribers per video. The watch time hours on this video, 66.1 hours could you imagine if you got 66 hours of watch time the average person is watching this video i think it was eight minutes so eight you have someone's attention for eight minutes whatever you're presenting to them if you know how to you know get people to look at you as the authority and then you have something to offer to them of value that can transform their life they're going to end up saying hey you're the person for me i want to work with you like they'll come to you and say i want to work for work with you i want you to i want to pay you to help me do what you do and that's that's what happens with, with me is that people will just say they'll look at that and they'll watch it for like eight nine minutes and they're like this is the person that I should be doing stuff with. I can see, number one, because he demonstrates it, and then number two, I've watched him so long, I think I, I, I would like working with this individual. So you can see here how this video is going. So now let's look at this here. YouTube recommendations, where it's on, where it's recommended because of what other people have, uh, f because of what they've watched with other videos, they'll recommend it and the individual would end up clicking to watch it. Look at that, 57% of those, that, but they're gonna watch that 
with the out here on uh, on YouTube, they're gonna watch it with the out video, and that there's gonna be a little banner that pops up. If that's not attractive, and doesn't get their attention, they're not gonna click over to it. The next one is YouTube Home. When you're on the YouTube Home page, what did I just say earlier? That thumbnail needs to stand out. If it's not gonna stand out, it's not gonna get their attention. Uh, the up next, that's the the up next video from people watching my videos or from videos where they watched it from here and then it was an up next video uh subscription feed nine percent notifications nine percent and all of these numbers i want to get up i'm working on getting all of these numbers up there's ways to do it i'm testing it right now youtube search you want to get that number up youtube search would be that the keywords and what i say in the video need to be either repeated a, a little bit more so the algorithm can pick it up by the voice algorithm and then also making sure that I do my part in the description and the title of the video and also in the uh, thumbnail one of the things that I learned about is that you need to you need to put the heading of, the, of your thumbnail needs to be named that name because that's part of the keyword uh, pulling in the keyword from the algorithm so you can see here, so all of these things you need to pay attention to and you could utilize this same strategy for your Facebook videos, for your LinkedIn videos, or for whatever platform, other platforms that you're placing uh, videos on or any type of content. But I love video content because it just allows you to make a connection with the individual that's watching you. So, all right, I hope that this was some good content for you. If you ever uh, need help with, you know, getting your YouTube channel going or you're trying to put together content for your LinkedIn videos, reach out to me. I'm always uh, willing to answer those questions. If you get a chance, go over to my YouTube channel where I, I'm able to have longer videos if, if you're watching this from another platform. Uh, the videos, I have a lot of videos on different subjects when it comes to building your business. Thank you for your time. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of Blue Book MKE. Let's level up your business five-day challenge. And thank you for your time.